So much of what we do in our personal lives and at the office is the result of the paradigms we hold. And what we do, in turn, affects the results we get. Thanks for coming to the meeting today, everyone. Uh... The word paradigm comes from the Greek root paradigma, meaning pattern. The pattern we expect to see, or the mental image of the way things are. We see everything through the perspective of our own paradigm. If you see your industry as one where growth is impossible, how does that affect what you do every day? And what results do you think you'll get from your actions? On the other hand, suppose you saw unlimited prospects for growth in your industry. How would that change your actions? What we see, our paradigms, determine what we do, which in turn determines what we get. And unless we consciously stand apart from and examine our paradigms, we might never see that perhaps many of them are distorted, short-sighted, or just flat out wrong. I remember a mini paradigm shift I experienced one Sunday morning on a subway in New York City. People were sitting very quietly, some reading, some resting with their eyes closed. Suddenly, a man and his children entered the subway car. The children ran yelling to the car, throwing things, grabbing people's newspapers. Their father sat down near me and closed his eyes and did nothing. I felt irritated. I could not believe he would let his children run wild like that. After a few minutes of patience and restraint, I turned to him and said, Sir, your children are really disturbing a lot of people. I wonder if you could control them just a little more. Yeah, you're right. I should do something. But we just came from the hospital where their mother died about an hour ago, and I guess they don't know how to handle it. Yes, I don't know how to handle it. Can you imagine how I felt at that moment? My paradigm shifted. Suddenly, I saw things differently. And because I saw differently, I thought differently. I felt differently. I acted differently. My irritation vanished. Compassion flowed freely. I wanted to help instead of criticizing and complaining. Once you see things as they really are, you'll think, feel, and act differently. And you'll do it automatically, spontaneously. Can you see why paradigms are deeper than attitudes and behavior? If you want to make minor changes in your life, work on your behavior. But if you want to make significant quantum breakthroughs, work on your paradigms.